What is up my number one Crocs? I am Plays, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Emerald! So, I'll be with you guys in a second. What is up Columbus? Columbus. Okay, I'm done. So, in this episode, I thought I would take off the chance to enhance my open glance and... Yeah, that's a piece of lyric from one of my old poems, I guess. Um, so, in this episode, we're going to go to Mr. Briny's house because there's this little patch... What? Well, <laughs> little patch. <coughs> <coughs> it's a gigantic ocean that stretches from, basically, Petalburg all the way to Duford, straight past this abandoned ship, which we're going to go in, and straight upwards towards um, Slateport. So, in this episode, I just wanted to get that covered. So, I do hope you enjoy See you guys at Mr. Brownie's house. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. I also uh, swapped out the team a little bit because I wanted to uh, not only get more types for the team, but I wanted to teach Color Queer Cut and Bird Brain Fly because they're going to be useful for obviously traveling around and cutting all the bushes I forgot, of which I'm going to be showing in the next episode. So see you guys at Mr. Brownie's house. Yeah! So guys, we've arrived here, just outside Mr. Briony's house. So we're gonna go down this little part of the ocean and see what we can find. So let's go ahead.
Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little EXP farming trip. Um, I sped it up because obviously as you can see it's very long. So we're just going to go into this abandoned ship and yeah. Let's see what's inside. Oh wow, this looks awesome. Why would people be here? Are people like living here? What the hell? <laughs> this is mad. Okay. I thought a potential double battle would occur, but apparently this guy is not paying attention. Which is great for us. Ooh la la. Beauty Thalia. Okay, as you can see I was using a lot of not very effective moves. That's because I was testing out how much damage I would do with a move that's not uh, regular effective or better. Um, for example, Iron Tail. And as you can see I still kill them, even if it's not very effective. So that's how powerful... Uh, my Iron Dome is, which is great. So we've got two levels so far. I'm spending all the XP on him because I want to get him to level 45. Because as you know, an important amount of battles are going to occur later. And so, I really want him to be high level. Do, 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 do. So we've got 20 hundred for winning. Awesome. You're such a tough trainer. Let me register you as my memento. Huh, <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm going to speed up these battles just because, well, you can still see them, but it, it takes too much time. Like, so many unnecessary battles. But yeah. After this one, I'm going to speed them up. Ugh. Hey, when my attacks miss. So now my attacks are going to miss more because of sand attack. Good job, you stupid skunk looking thing. Wow, I really hate these moves. It's like, there's no need to do that, is there? <laughs> like, seriously. It's just trolling. The game's trolling me hard. And now it's wasting all my PP. Good luck with that. And now it's wasting all my PP, which um, I could use for other trainer battles. Just pointless, stupid, re retarded stuff like this. It's annoying, like, seriously. Can you, like, stop trolling now? You're actually starting to annoy me. This is just pointless. Come on! Oh my god! Yes, four times. You can count. Sweet. It's good to know that you can count, my friend. Die! Freaking troll. They didn't even poison me. GG. Oh my god, please don't paralyze me. Otherwise I'll paralyze you from the waist down with a slap across the neck. Alright, there we go. Okay. It's good to see you didn't use something like Thundershock. Or like some sort of move that paralyzes or confuses you because that would really suck. What? Is Sand Attack still in effect? Odus Leaf. You've identified me. Yes, I'm an Agron. Kudos! Someone throw this guy a cookie or a fish or something. Alright, die. What? That's why I hate rock attack. Uh, freaking. <laughs> Rocks. Rock attack. That's why I hate rock smash. I mean, you need it. It's a HM, because I'm using this guy as a semi HM slave. But, like, it does no damage. It does next to no damage. Oh, great. If that paralyzes me, I swear. I swear. Oh my god. This guy is comboing me good, because my freaking sand attack, because the sand attack has lowered my freaking accuracy. Sucks. I should have sped up this battle. I'm dead serious. This is actually annoying me now. Wow! 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 Are you serious? Kind of queer. Deal with this guy, please. I just can't. I can't fathom how retarded this is. Like, wow! If that paralyzes me. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you ser- Okay, 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 okay. You wanna play that? I'll play you at your own game! You're so lucky. I wanted to confuse you then to annoy you so you kill yourself. Because that's what you deserve, to kill yourself. So annoying, and now I have to use like two freaking leopard berries or where they are. What berries is it again? 
Char cherry. Why did I say leper? Oh my god. I'm thinking of the PP item, yeah. Now I have to use frickin' two uh, cherry berries on my Pokemon. But then again, I only need to use one. Because I'm not going to be using Color Queer. I just used him as a, you know, kill this thing quick and then, like, leave him. So, yeah, I'm kind of going to fast forward in future. Because this is just moronic. It's just really moronic. Can you even go down there? No, you can't. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. So these like cabins are really small, and all they have is chairs. Ah, oh, too bad your bag is full. Well, I don't really want that, do I? Why would I want a harbor mail? Like, be serious. You only needed one for like a special item, the coin case. <laughs> but you don't need any more because like this game doesn't have Wi-Fi, from my recollection. Well, the way I'm playing it, and so you know you can't really actually send messages to people. Okay, great. You may be thinking, why did you just use a Hyper Potion there? Well, I don't really know, but I have like a 10 more anyway, so it's cool. What's in here? Oh, it's a, it's a big oversized plump woman. Sweet. Can you even fight her? Uh, I'm getting crazy just being aboard this shit. Why don't you get off of it then? I don't want you to stick in that bin because, you know, people have to use that bin. Like, what happens if you throw like half a box of KFC accidentally into the bin and you want to get it back? No one's going to eat. It, with covered in sick, are they? Unless, of course, they accidentally think it's mayonnaise and like, mm, I don't even want to think about that, okay? I don't even want to think about that. Uh, yes, 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 I didn't mean to talk to you, sir. Okay, so we're going to come back here later because as you can see, there's dark water there, which represents you can dive, but we currently can't do that yet. Foreshadowing! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get this. What's this? It is an escape rope! Too bad the bag is full! Yippee! We didn't come here for escape ropes, even though I clearly know where the entrance is. How dare you walk away from me? Yay! It's a ship! Really? Oh my god, I didn't know that! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in here, let's see what's in here. And it's a Pokeball! Ooh, a dive ball! That's very cool. That's very cool indeed. They give you better catch rates uh, for Pokemon that are underwater. Uh, actually, I think it's, uh, yeah, when you're, like, in the water catching them or, like, Pokemon you catch under the sea, yeah. Uh, this is a perfect place to go exploring. It's exciting here. I bet there are amazing treasures on board. Well, I wouldn't be standing there, like, imagining there's amazing treasures on board. I would actually go and search for the amazing treasures. I don't know if there's, like, enemies on this ship. The door is locked. I refer to Pokemon as enemies. Please don't kill me. Okay, so basically, I don't know if there's, like, Pokemon, like running rampantly on the ship. Okay, another battle, awesome! Okay, sweet. So, as I was saying, I don't even know if there's like any wild Pokemon that just you can stumble upon on the ship. Oh, another battle, here we go.
See, this is the type of thing that really annoys me about Pokemon games. If there's like a, a place that you need to get to, for example, the Pokeball earlier that I showed you uh, in the sea. Uh, um, yeah, basically, a trainer can actually st like stand outside the door so you can't get through. It's really stupid and they should have like thought that through. But let me try something. I, I wanted to deliberately do that because I know there's a door this side. So let me see if you can still... Uh, okay. So apparently they fixed trainer battles like that. But I don't know about the one in the sea. I'm going to try and get the item later, and if I can't, then, well, yeah, they kind of botched the game. Uh, because it would be impossible to get that item if this one was standing in front of it. But we'll see. So, we found a storage key. Awesome. Who's this guy? I'm investigating this ship on behalf of Captain Stone. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. Okay, so it's a nerdy scientist who's covering for Mr. Stern or whatever his face is. Okay, so that's cool. So do you guys remember the door earlier that we couldn't get into because apparently it was locked? Well, now we can! And that door is here. Pete inserted the key. <laughs> Inside joke. <coughs> the keys... <laughs> the Dean Kurt inserted key stuck in fast. The door is open. Awesome. I thought it was locked still. Ooh, Ice Beam! Now that might come in handy later. I'm not sure if I can teach that currently 20 in my Pokemon. Let's find out. Ice Beam is very powerful. Uh, Where is it? Ice Beam. Can I? Can I? Can I? Ooh, I can. Uh, I can teach it to Iron Dome. Oh, wow. Talk about overkill. Okay, so I'm going to teach that to Iron Dome. I'm going to get rid of... Oh, tough choice, tough choice, tough choice. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. Because we don't really need this. Brilliant. That'll do great for the Elite Four later. Of course, everyone knows that the Elite Four is coming. What Pokemon game does not have the Elite Four? Be serious. Alright, so that's great. Um, we can come back later when we have the Dive HM. I'm telling you there's a Dive HM now because I'm sure half of you know. Uh, and basically, uh, there's an item under the water there, so we're going to pick that up later. Okay, so let's see if there's any more trainers that we need to conquer. Cue the awesome music.
So Crocs, I do hope you enjoyed this video. This video, I, I want it to get a lot covered, believe me, but I don't know. It was just a lot of fuss putting this all together, what with all the clipping and that stuff. And it's gone over 20 minutes anyway. But I'm glad we've got one of the biggest oceans in the game sorted out. That's, that's pretty awesome. So in the next episode, I'm going to be taking on some more stuff. Um, I'm going to be showing you all those cut trees. Uh, you know in the past video with Watcher. Um, well, I'm going to be showing you all the cut trees. Because I don't think it's fair that I leave you guys in suspense and not show you exactly what's behind each of the trees. So... Be prepared for that in the next episode. I'm also going to be showing you a few things of which I was going to show you in the bonus episodes. But I don't think it's right to leave such small things to the end of the game. As they could help you potentially right now. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button and possibly sub for more future content. Au revoir.